blue in the corners or some area of the um, map that that's where the starting area for a certain base is. So they can basically be in any one of those positions. What people usually do is they send one unit out and they ins they uh, inspect all the corners to see where they are. And once they find the base, they just basically either they they keep that guy hovered there until it's um until it's it's um what's the word I'm looking for? It's safe. No, it's uh I get I I forgot the word for it. I just had it on the tip of my tongue. Basically, until it's found out, then they either let it get destroyed or they call it back. They basically hover over. Um, so for the Zerg rush, all you gotta do is find the other player's base, and basically, there's still the Zerg rush. You can build so fast. They'll they'll have like a few soldiers by the time you actually send a good enough group over there, and probably it, it basically demolishes their whole base. The Protoss is. They have a very mu a much later on if you're still alive if you manage to keep yourself thriving. Uh, much later on in the game, they're flying units. They have these huge ships that look like blimps. When it gets over a base or a unit or something, it sends out like twenty or thirty of these mini little flying ships that like they don't shoot, but they just collide into everything. When they collide, they don't die. They just basically hover over you and hit everything, and there's so many of them that they destroy. If you have at least two of those, you can win. You can win a game pretty easily if the other person doesn't know what they're doing. And Terran, Terran doesn't really have a rush type thing, but they do have the thing that we all love: nukes. Oh wow. They have these special units that can um they can go invisible. All you gotta do is build a nuclear silo, which you need a bunch of other crap to before this in order to build it. But they can build a nuclear silo, which unlocks these special type um forces for you. What they do is they have like this special type of um they usually Terrans all have a special type of ability. There are regular soldiers that have the regular um guns. You can upgrade the guns. You can upgrade their armor. You can upgrade their health. Um, you can upgrade their range too. They, the regular soldiers, they shoot. They have the guns. Then there's the um, they have what they call fire bats. They're soldiers that basically have like flamethrowers on their wrists and they burst everything in flames. Then they have the medic. The medic just sits back, literally sits back and heals everyone. Um, let's see. And the, the the special unit I'm talking about that has the um the uh, invisibility. What you can do is they they have sort of a mana like a mana kind of like a mana system. But what you can do is um once you uh get to someone's base, they should have if you have a nuclear silo built, they have um this ability to go invisible and wherever you want the nuke to come you can set it over top of their wherever you want nuke like um their base might be set up in a certain thing where okay way over here we have like a bunch of training areas to where we get um they get their soldiers and stuff from they might have an area way over to the right that has all of the vehicle areas where they make their airships their um their ground vehicles and they might have their central area, which is their base, and where they get all the minerals. Usually, you want to destroy the base, but you know if they have minerals and they still have um, units that can move somewhere else and build another base, it's really no point. So what you want to do is what, what I usually do is I usually nuke both air er both areas that um are in major production. Then I go after I, I send like a huge group of soldiers and fire bats to destroy their base. But what the unit does is it'll go invisible and it'll send a laser over the um, it points like a rifle at the uh the area that you want nuked, and it sends a laser and it it gives a whole warning to the whole um on the screen at the bottom it'll say nuclear strike detected. That's not good. <laughs> the other yeah, basically uh when I used to play over at the team center with um. 
Alex and when, when Hector was there, um, we used to play uh, local so that we could all play together. We had like a good four, five, six people playing at once. And whenever we would see Nuclear Strike Detected, we would all stop for a second like, oh god, is that my base? <laughs> LOL. And <laughs> we used to like plead with each other. When we'd see one another get turned, we're like, please don't nuke me. Please don't nuke me. But um, once you once you see that, you know you're basically screwed. There are certain units that can actually detect this this uh, invisible unit, but it, it's it, it's kind of like a use a useless thing because you build them just to detect them. Besides that, they can get destroyed really easily and they don't kill anything else. Um, they send them. They put a laser. It says nuclear strike detected, and after like a good thirty seconds, a missile comes down and blows up the whole area and kills everything near it if there are people standing near it it blows them into little tiny bits and pieces of blood everywhere it destroys all buildings it, it, it's it's amazing what's the but, radius on it um i'm pretty sure you if, if i'm not mistaken you, actually, you can actually upgrade the radius I, I don't remember but it has a pretty good radius like um the center uh l let me put it to you like this say your keyboard is the screen all right. The the biggest building that you can possibly get is like the size of ER and DF put together. That's like the biggest. Okay. Maybe maybe a little bigger, like three three by two. Um, the radius is about E S from E S X C F back to E. That's about the total destruction radius. And okay. then beyond that, the buildings get like hurt by half, and then beyond that, um, they get hurt a little, and then yeah, just like that. Sweet. Yeah, sounds pretty cool. That was pretty epic. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, the the terror, the, the terror vehicles are amazing. Like um, they have I, I forgot I, it's been so long since I played. There's this little thing that has like um, these spikes. Like it's like a, a floating bike, a floating uh, motorcycle. So it's, it's pretty good, but it, it's good. In um, there's also these things that they have called siege tanks. These things are beasts when it comes to firefights, but they can't hit anything in the air. So basically, the air unit comes in. Those tanks are fucking useless. They're fucked, and you better get them out of there, or they're all destroyed. Um. Their air units are actually. Your mic is being weird. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like cutting in and out. Oh, plug it. Yeah, turn it off and turn it back on. All right. Hey, Whitey, where are you at right now? Well, I just beat the third gym leader. Oh, wow. Yeah, I kind of progressed while y'all were talking. Just saying. Is it good now? Is it good? Yeah, it's fixed. Okay. So. Um. I'll wait till RJ finishes talking about StarCraft, and then I guess we can go ahead and just end it off. Then I'll wrap this up then. The Terran air units are really, really good. I mean, they, they, there are a few bad ones. There are a few good ones. They're pretty balanced out. The Protoss, um, I don't think, I think they have ground vehicles. I don't actually, I never, I, I think I played with the Protoss once to try it out, and I didn't like it. But I don't think they have ground vehicles. They might. I just know their air vehicles are really, like, beastly and overpowered um their actual fighting their their ground units their uh soldiers they're actually pretty powerful the zerg the zerg there are some that are powerful they actually they actually have a um, pretty long range um they have pretty long range units but nothing too good on the ground um the one thing I will say is you have to have um, certain th these things that uh, increase your population. Like for the Terran, it's um, supply depots. For Protoss, it's um, pylons. And for the Zerg, it's um, these things called lurkers. Uh, the supply depots you can basically build in like a back area so that when they get destroyed, or so that really no one destroys them because once they get destroyed, if you lose any units, you gotta basically rebuild them if you want to get them back. 
they they raise them by like eight people or so and you can keep building and keep building and you can raise it like 200 and keep going from there the protoss the uh pylons they actually allow you to increase your population and you also need them to like teleport in buildings like your where you get your soldiers from and everything and the zerg the lurkers i love the lurkers for the zerg because they can actually go all over the map they fly around they're actually like alive and you can basically spy on someone's um base from afar with a lurker so i, I really like those but you we we do need it we could um you two do need to get it because once i get john john's laptop i'm gonna get that um and diablo so we could do some like matches between us three just to get y'all in the hang of it mm -hmm. and yeah now when you say you want us to play starcraft we're going to be playing online or are we just going to be playing against each other or what we could, i see i would say we could we should play against each other more but if you want to play online I, i'm just going to say this once there are american players there are out of country players there are a lot of fucking Asian and Korean players. Mm -hmm. I say I, I, I separate the Asian and the Korea because there are Asian players, but then there are Korean players. Korean beat the Asian, even though Korean are Asian. Korean beat the Asian by like one million. The moment we see any Korean um, letters or we, we we think they're speaking some sort of Korean, anything Korean, run run get out back out run they hold huge competitions in starcraft or in korea dedicated to starcraft and you should see like these things gross about three million dollars american money jesus i just beat by, my first try just by people attending first game i'd win <laughs> the sad part is i can actually picture that no see that's the thing though they start out from like they think of um a regular tournament bracket think of it extended the size of um uh let's say you you know the the wall with the most computers at the team center yes think of a whole bracket extended that long and probably about as high from the desk all the way up to the um the bottom of where the pictures end that seems like a lot they saw that they saw from small fish like from little small fries like that from the people who think oh yeah i'm pretty good and then they constantly go up and then oh god you just you can watch the competitions on youtube they are so intense and skippy mm -hmm. they click they click and they type at about 500 things per second so easy bro <laughs> not per second not per second crap did i really say per second per minute per minute I was about to say, 500 clicks a second, that's a little much. Too easy, bro. I didn't mean to say second, I meant per minute. It, I mean, they... They are... Jesus Christ, it's scary. Oh, by the way, um, on League, your range yeah. of champions to pick from, um, you have 109 to pick from. Holy Jesus. crap, I only thought it was like 50 or something like that. There's 109 champions altogether. I was only thinking like the range of 30. <laughs> And uh, right now I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. I have seven right now. <laughs> so advanced. So you up? The two types of um, money that you can use, like the money system in this game, I suppose it's what it's called. It's like more like points, but uh, there's a uh, RP, which is riot points, and there's also IP, which is influence points. Influence points are earned from winning games. RP, you have to actually spend money to get it. And it's mostly real used for like extra things, such as like a skin for a character or something like that. Nah, uh, so yeah, real money. You can also gain riot points if you um get somebody like who can uh rec who was recommended to the game by you. If they put that they were recommended by you and they put your um correct uh, information down, then you can get like RP and IP from. See, see, when I was making my account on there on League of Legends, and I asked you, and I downloaded, it, and I was like. Okay, who should I put, um, brought me to this? Skippy was like, don't put anyone there. I was like, but John John brought me here. He might get something. And Skippy was like, doesn't matter. I could have got you RP points. I want RP points. I want riot points. Riot points are good. 
Yeah, see, I could have got you something. Skipper was like, it doesn't matter. It, uh... Yeah, look at you, Skippy. Look at you. Look at you. That's okay, since I made a new email address, I'll probably just make a uh, new account. Yeah, yeah, really, you haven't played it, so it doesn't matter. Scrub. So, are we gonna uh, wrap up this episode? Oh, this, hang on, I must heal. All right. Yeah, where are you at right now? Well, I'm about to tell y'all. I'm in Mauville like, City, what? which means what? I beat the third gym leader already, and my Pokemon consist of a level 18 Scrubtasm, a level 18 Jewels, a level 20 HM Whore who evolved, a level 20 Goldini, a level 20 Blue who also evolved, and a level 21 Aqua Dragon who also evolved. We were talking about all we had a time. A few Pokemon. You mad? I evolved three Pokemon, bro. Yeah. So what, what time were we at? How much time did we get? I, I, I'm gonna have to check the file, but we're probably particularly longer. It's probably around like 30 minutes or so. Mm, not bad, not bad. All right. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this extremely long Pokemon, which will eventually be cut up into many segments and posted on the YouTubes. But until then, I'm Skippy. Interwebs. I'm Skippy. Would you guys like to outro yourself this time? I am RJ, aka Binky, aka Blackie. Uh, Blackie. That's Blackie. And, uh, and I'm uh, I'm Dora the Explorer. All right. Jay. So uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please let re yeah leave a rate. Ah, screw it. You know what? Bye.